If you want to learn how to improve your performance of your Mac by cleaning up some temporary files, then watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here, and I'm going to show you a quick tip on what I do to prepare my computer for streaming. So the first thing I like to do is clear out my cache files. Under my home directory, it's called Gary Cruz here. If you don't see library, here's what you do. So click on the finder, go to view, show view options, and then check this folder called show library folder. Once that's clicked, click on library. And in this folder, there's a couple of folders that you can totally empty because they're re recreated when applications run. So for example, caches, there's a bunch of files in here that you can delete. So what I do is I select all and then press delete. So either edit, file, and then move to trash or do option delete. Okay. The next one is logs. Logs are often recreated with the applications that run them. And we use the shortcut of command delete. And then the last, the other one is messages. And this is if you use iMessages on your, on your Mac, this can take up um, some valuable space. So if I click on command I on messages, I see that it's taking up 353 megabytes. That could be sometimes a lot larger if you, your friends or people that you text are sending large files like video files or images. And since I have my cache of messages on my iPhone, I typically delete them on my desktop. So I select all of these and delete. I don't use mail on my Mac. So usually what I'll do is I'll go out and delete that as well. Uh, but if you do delete it, all it does is delete all the attachments and everything that's been downloaded locally to your computer and they'll still be in the cloud. And the last one that I delete is sa saved application state. This is not a very large folder. I'll select all of those and delete it. Now that all those are in the trash, I'll go ahead and restart the computer, then empty the trash. So let me go ahead and pause this because it's going to stop the application when it's uh, restarted. And then I'll re resume from there. So let's go ahead and pause or stop this. Okay, I just restarted my Mac. And the first thing I'll do is just click on my hard drive. If you don't see that, you can also go to view options and um, make that visible. Uh, so I'll click on command I. Move that over here in the center here. And it looks like I have one terabyte and then available is 148 gigabytes available. And so the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and empty my trash here. And we'll watch this reclaim some space. So as this is being emptied, we should see the availability go up. All right, so now I've got 795 gigabytes available. And one of the things that also takes up a lot of space is movies. So the other thing that you might wanna check is when you go into your hard drive, click on your movies. If you have a Final Cut Pro iMovie directory here, if there's a lot of rendered files there, you might want to empty that out or move them to an external hard drive. For example, I have one here called Digital Video and I have a bunch of videos on here that I've offloaded. So another place that Ecamm actually saves um, videos is in your documents. If you have an Ecamm directory with a bunch of videos, you might want to offload that too to free up space. Because what happens is on an SSD, if you're coming close to capacity, the performance of your Mac is going to slow down considerably. So keep that in mind. And one last step before I go is I'll run one thing is um, I'll do disk utility. And I'll just do this every maybe once a month or so is I'll go over here and do the micro, uh, Macintosh hard drive data and click on first aid and run that. Hopefully it's still recording while it's doing this. All 
All right, so it goes fairly quickly. All it does is just really check the integrity of these file systems and click on done. And that should get rid of most of the issues. In fact, that's what I usually do when I have to, uh, when I'm having some issues with Final Cut Pro. But if you're having uh, issues with Ecamm Live, this also can clear out some of your issues. Just some standard Mac best practices in terms of cleaning up your system. So that's it. If this tip was useful for you, hit that like button on the way out and consider subscribing since I'll be doing tips on streaming, uh, more tips on Ecamm Live in general. Thanks for watching.